As soon as Game of Thrones giant ice wall was introduced, I think we all knew that at some point it had to fall and let the White Walkers through. Now, early on this season, since winter has come, there was a theory that, in fact, the Night King and his army of whites would simply walk around the wall on the now frozen sea, which would have been a bit disappointing. But it turns out, spoiler alert, it was the zombie ice dragon Viserion who caused the downfall of the wall. Many people have shown that melting the wall just wouldn't be practical. That's because ice has such a high latent heat of fusion and specific heat capacity, meaning it would take a tremendous amount of energy, far more than you could possibly attribute to a hypothetical fire-breathing creature. But there is a way that we could cause the wall to fall, and its origins are actually in the books. The Horn of Winter is a legendary horn which the wildlings believe, if blown, would bring down the wall. Now, that's not too much of a stretch. If the pitch of the sound produced by the horn matched one of the natural frequencies of the wall, then a resonance could be set up within it. In resonances, all that wave energy gets efficiently trapped within the structure, meaning it can amplify and amplify more and more with time. We've witnessed the level of destruction that resonances can cause, for instance, with this bridge. In fact, we already employ resonances to break ice. In particular, thin sheets of ice over bodies of water, like lakes. Hovercraft travelling over the ice at the critical speed set up resonances in those thin sheets of ice, which amplify until they break by a mechanical fatigue. Now, with these thin ice sheets, it's usually shear or surface waves which are set up, but the principle would still hold for sound or body waves in a giant block of ice. So what should the Horn of Winter sound like? Well, as I established before, the average thickness of the wall should be about 90 meters, and the speed of sound in ice is 4,000 meters a second. And don't worry, if you, like me, believe that the wall has to be actually made of pycrete, doesn't change the numbers too much. The fundamental frequency of the wall then works out to be 22 hertz, which is barely audible for most people. But don't forget that harmonics, whole number multiples of that frequency, will also lead to resonances or standing waves which perfectly fit within the wall. For instance, this sound has a pitch of 66 hertz, three times the fundamental. So that means an inception bois could cause the wall's destruction. Mind blown. And it turns out you wouldn't even have to perfectly tune the horn of winter because the wall would act something like a waveguide. Now, while multiples of 22 hertz would be just right for any waves traveling at right angles backwards and forwards through the wall, any sound waves that were traveling along it as well as through it would travel a slightly longer distance and therefore would require a higher resonant frequency. So as long as you're above that critical value, the effect should be the same. But blowing the Horn of Winter to take down the wall might not look quite how you imagine. That's because sound gets reflected at boundaries between materials which have very different acoustic impedances, essentially a measure of the resistance to motion under the pressure of that sound wave. Ice and air have very different acoustic impedances. 99.95% of all of the sound from the Horn of Winter would end up being reflected away from the wall, which of course is no 
good. But we do have a way around this. You know that gel substance used in ultrasound scans? Well, that's there to match the acoustic impedance of your flesh to try and limit the amount of sound reflected by your skin. So we just need to use something similar between the Horn of Winter and the wall to make sure that that sound gets through. And hey presto, wall fall down. And that is how this season of Game of Thrones should have ended, according to physics. Thanks so much for watching this Game of Thrones video. There's some more on the subject of the wall over there. Do like and subscribe and comment below. Let me know what your favorite moment from this season of Game of Thrones was. And I will see you again soon.